if Jesus could bring back a dead man from the grave, ain't no problem in your life. Ain't no problem in Mr. Baxter's life that God cannot solve. Yes, you might go through something, for Mary and Martha went through something. Their brother, their brother indeed was dead. But Jesus Christ, God's son, brought him back from the grave. Your circumstances might look dead. Your dream might look shattered. You have been hurt and you have been going through a lot. You have been dealing with circumstances that is not in your favor. But please do not forget, earth have no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. And when Jesus came to Lazarus' graveside, that was the best deal. He came back from the grave. He was able to live again. And this is a sign to tell us that Jesus, Jesus have power over death. Jesus have power over the grave. In the book of Revelation chapter 1 verse 18, the Bible said, I am he that was dead. Jesus in the book of Revelation 1 verse 18, he said, I am he that was dead. Jesus himself finally one day died. But the good thing is this, Jesus did not stay in the grave. The good thing is this, Jesus did not stay in the grave. He rose from the grave, my brothers and sisters. From the grave, he have power. <laughs> and because he have power he rose from the grave brothers and sisters the grave couldn't hold him the grave couldn't control him Jesus himself God's son got up from the grave and because he lived we can face tomorrow because he lived we have hope for a great future he brought back Lazarus from the grave my key point is this Jesus wants us to remove the stone. Whatever the stone may be, let us remove it and experience the deliverance and the chain-breaking power of Jesus. Remember what he did for Lazarus. He can do for you. He can do for me. For earth have no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. And coming to Jesus Christ, God's son, is always the best deal. The book of St. John's chapter 11 is a lesson to be learned that Jesus' power is not limited. Jesus' power is not limited. Notice when Jesus arose from the grave, the Bible said a cloud received him out of his disciples' sight. A cloud received him out of their sight. Jesus didn't leave in a space suit. Jesus did not leave in a space craft. He defied gravity. The Bible said Jesus Christ was taken up in a cloud that defied gravity. Scientists, scientists will tell you that no man can go too far up in the air. If we go too far up in the air, we're going to die from natural causes. Because the further up you go, the breeding pattern and the hair up there is not the same. Just like the further down you're going to the sea, you cannot breed the natural hair that we breed. But brothers and sisters, Jesus defied gravity. He have power over death. He called Lazarus from the grave. He himself, Jesus, was dead. And he rose from the grave. Look in the book of St. John's chapter 11, check that out. And Revelation 1 verse 18, check that out. Jesus said, now I have the keys over death and of hell. So brothers and sisters, here is it, Jesus, God's son. Because he rose from the grave and have the victory, you and I can face tomorrow. Everyone who dies serving God, according to the Bible, everyone who dies serving God shall live again. If your mother dies serving God, they shall live again. Everyone who dies serving God shall live again. So we have this hope. I, Evangelist and Baxter, share with you this hope. Let us remember, Jesus wants us to remove the stone. Jesus wants us not just to remove the stone, but be willing to obey his words. And if you obey, if I obey his word, like, oh, we see the people obey and remove the stone, the blessings of the Lord will flow in your life. Welcome to the 